Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers, JJ the Trucker coming to you from Springfield, Missouri. I'm at the Prime Inc. Terminal out here. It's their main terminal, the one you all hear about, also known as the Taj Mahal. I'm here with another You Asked, I Delivered. You guys have been asking for a tour of the facility. Let's do it, drone style. Look at the size of this thing. Man, we better get started if we're going to get through this. Whew. And make sure you stay tuned because at night, it's Christmas time. The Christmas lights are out. We're going to tour the Christmas lights as well, and they've gone all out on it. All right, let's start right here. This is inbound, 14 total bays for inbound and outbound. It's the first place you're going to go. They're going to check the trailer, replace tires if needed, do your basic checks, make sure everything's looking good before you come on out the other side. And on the other side, there we go. Let's zoom on out here, back it up a little bit. We've got our outbound. This is where you leave too, where you can get all your fuel, get your uh, air pressure checked, all that good stuff, and head on out. In those offices over there, the plaza building, they've got uh, dispatch and uh, permits and more offices over there. All right, let's move on to this training pad. This is the training and testing pad. Look at the size of this thing. Man. I came over from Salt Lake City where they've got, you know, three little pads kind of crammed together. Man, just the size of this thing is huge. Man, give me a sports car and, and a little bit of uh, a little wet surface here. I could be in so much trouble. Man, this thing would be littered with donuts. Nope, they use it for professional stuff. So they do not only the training here, they train a large number of people here, but they also do the testing. This is where you will also test out for your CDL if you are coming through this facility. Oh man, let's take a look at this thing. Nice little flyby. You can see they're hard at work there and every time I look at this pad, man, just the, the size of it impresses me. All right, let's move on over here. This is the park. This one right here is the disc golf course. And on the other side, not of those trees, but of the other trees is another big old park. Great for your four-legged friends, that's for sure. Man, this, uh, if you like disc golf, like Frisbee, uh, it's a fun little game. It's also a cool little uh, parking area too, kind of away from the hubbub. And then this little area right here, uh, they got restrooms here, picnic tables, and barbecues. So if you are all into barbecuing, man, come on over here. Have yourself a good time. Invite some friends over. Man, it'll be all good. Zoom on out here. There's the other park right over there. Nice big old park. Play some football over there. Take your four-legged friends. Have some good time. All right, this is the E-Lot. The E-Lot is where they park all the trucks that are not in use right now. Uh, they've either just been turned in or they're ready to be picked up by somebody else. This is where I dropped off my uh, old truck and where I picked up my new one. Over here, we've got the loaded drop yard. So if your trailer's loaded, drop it right here on the concrete. You can pick it up later or somebody else can pick it up and finish off your load if you uh, need some time off. Pretty good system they got there. We got somebody already uh, picking one up. So when I head on out of here, I'll probably be picking up a loaded trailer and heading on out. If not, I might be going out with an empty trailer. We'll get to that in a moment. All right, you all know this place right here. These are the wash bays. I've got a couple of videos, uh, including one recent video, so make sure you check the upper right hand corner right there. You see it, upper right hand corner? Yeah, you can see, uh, see my baby being washed right here in this wash bay. Solar panel roofing too. Going green, Prime, thank you. Over here we've got the empty drop yard. Yes, MT, stands for empty. And uh, yep, this is the empty drop yard here on the asphalt. All of these trailers are empty. Some are waiting for repairs, some are not. There's some additional uh, bobtail parking for you uh, or overflow for the E lot. Right, here we go back over to the inbound outbound area. Look at all the employee parking. This is all employee parking over here. Some of it's uh, parking, long term parking for some of the drivers. Most of it is employee parking. That is a lot of support staff, and a lot of them are at home right now because of uh, what's going on with the Rona. And then this, we got more employee parking over here, staff and maintenance parking. 
And then over here, what? More drop yards? Not exactly. This is pedigree. Pedigree is where you can actually buy your own trailer if you want to. If you're running under your own authority, you need a trailer of your own without the prime uh, markings or anything. Or if you want to buy a nicely used truck, gently used truck that's been well maintained, come on over to Pedigree. They'll sell you one. Uh, prime trailers are only used for about four to five years before they're sold. And most prime trucks, uh, those are the ones that were former company or former lease. Uh, those ones get sold after about three years. There's success leasing right in there. If you're leasing a truck, that's where you go. Success leasing's in there as well as uh, dispatch and uh, many other support features. Uh, more than I even know. Here we've got the trailer rebuild and repair shop. So if a trailer's being rebuilt, repaired, we usually go there. And there's the main trailer repair shop right over there on the left-hand side. And all the tractor bays right there on the right-hand side. Also, the parts department's right there in the middle. This is parking for the repair shop once you've been uh, pre-cleared and they're just waiting. Like me, I'm waiting to get my APU fixed. So guess what? There I am. Let's uh, zoom on in, shall we? There we are. Hey, Mr. Pumpkins. All right. Let's zoom on out. And now, let's go ahead and head on over to the next set, the next building over here. This is why they call this place the Taj Mahal. There's the parking for the Millennium Building right there. Everybody that's parked there, they're drivers that are taking some time off for the Millennium Building. What is in this Millennium Building? Let me tell you. They've got a company store, cafeteria and grill, basketball court, full gym, movie theater, billiards, hair salon and spa, a mail room, free showers, bunk rooms, which are basically small hotel rooms, 50 cent laundromat, doctor's office, chiropractor, Cardinal Sleep Care Center, Abacus CPAs, and an embroidery shop. Am I forgetting anything? Oh yeah. <laughs> See that? And a daycare. Man, they have thought of everything. I'm sure I'm missing something too. I just ran out of room on the screen. There's got to be more in there. Oh man, uh, nice uh, facilities. Really, really nice. They put a lot of thought into them. And man, when you are taking some time off, you need it. Let me tell you. So thank you, Prime, for doing all of that for us. Whew. All right, let's move on over here. And what have we got over here? This big old building's got some more stuff and more features in it, including Express Lube and Bay. That's that first door that you see right there, 1W. That one, if you need an oil change or a, a PM, perform, a, a performance maintenance, uh, that's where you go. You'll get in and out fairly quickly. It still does take some time, especially since right now they're handling the uh, APU stuff right now, the APU campa campaigns. There's additional repair, uh, trailer repair shops over there as well. And then these three doors, that's the uh, APU install shop on the first two on the right, and then the windshield shop on the left. I've got uh, some videos of me getting my windshield replaced, or a video. So make sure you stay tuned for that because that's going to be coming up. All right, there's uh, more parking. Man, we need more parking. All this parking is uh, right here and here. Is usually trucks that are being worked on in one of these shops. Yes, another shop. I wonder what's in these shops. Yeah, let's find out, shall we? All right, on the left-hand side, we've got the body shop, paint shop, and the steam room. Yes, you can get your whole truck steamed, the undercarriage, the engine, the back end, everything right there. Man, they do a great job too. And then over here on the other side is the detail shop. No, this isn't where they detail your, your shop, you know, your truck like they do a car. That's going to happen over on the, uh, the wash bays. This is where they will add in your microwave, your refrigerator, your satellite system, you know, replace your mattresses, all that kind of stuff. That's what they do in the detail shop. Uh, so yeah, lots of work being done there. Pretty darn cool. Man, and there we go. There's that another view of that big old park over by the E-Lot. Those are dog runs right there, by the way. 
Don't forget those dog runs. You can go ahead and, and have your dog, you know, keep your dog in there in little kennels uh, and keep them in there for a little bit. You are responsible for them and you got to clean up after them. But yep, you can have those, uh, those dog runs for you if you need. Man, look at the scope of this thing. Let's zoom on out. Come on. We're going to back up. We're actually going to be flying over the highway here in one second just to kind of get let's see if we can get it even all in one big camera frame come on back up even more am i zoomed out more more man we are way over the highway all right there we go look at the size of this place man that's huge that to me is a sign of a successful company if they can do something that big, they are doing something right. Man, the Pittston Yard is pretty nice, not quite as big. And the, the Salt Lake Yard, I, I, I want to get back over there because they just opened up the new uh, facility over there. I definitely want to go over there and check it out. But it is definitely not this big. This place is huge. All right, let's do a quick little fly over here. And yes, make sure you stay tuned because the Christmas light tour is coming up next. Go ahead and uh, zoom on over this place. I'm going to put her in sport mode and fly on over. It's a good bird's eye view. And there we are. Let's go ahead and land this thing, shall we? Let's see how my landing skills have gotten. Come on. A little, a little more. No, nope, a little more. No, nope, too far. Yep, yep, right there. No, nope, no, nope, too far. No, nope. how about a little closer? Yep, there we go. Oh, not too close. There we go. Just the camera. And now for the time you've been waiting for. Man, the Christmas lights. You know what, this thing is just so nice how they did it. I'm just gonna shut up and let the Christmas music take on hold. Enjoy. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when they
Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. for watching this feature presentation from me, JJ the Trucker. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or two. I'd appreciate it. That way I know which videos you guys are enjoying and you know what to do now. That's right. That's right. You see it right there. Click on my face. Click on my face. See what happens when you click on my face. You know you want to. Other than that, check out some of my other videos for more great content such as the one YouTube's recommending, the one I'm recommending, or for more free JJ the Trucker merch, check out the other video. Later.